hey guys welcome again to my channel my name is Kerry, aka lashes journey and today i am gonna show you guys how i germinate my moringa plants because i've been struggling with moringa plants every moringa plant that i plant every moringa seeds that i plant it turn out not good it turn out to be it just stay there in the dirt and it stay there for a long time then i, I then i have to throw it out because it's always rot so this time i decided to do something different i decided to put my meringue plants in water so what i did i soak it for two days so what i did with this meringue seed guys i soak it in water for two days after soaking it for two days i take it out and i get a piece of napkin and i place the meringue seed on there then I spray it down with water. Then I put it in a Ziploc bag and close that Ziploc bag up for approximately three to four days. And this is what it looks like after three days. It's the best result so far on meringue seed, on my meringue seeds, because I've been trying to get them to germinate forever for over a year. And everyone that I try, it just won't germinate. I didn't know why. I was thinking maybe the seeds no good, but I figure it's not the seeds, it's just the process. So this is how I'm gonna do moringa seed from now on. I'm gonna soak it in water for two days, then put it in a napkin or paper towel, and then, can you guys see? So. That's what it looks like. So I I did three of them. So I'm not sure if I should put it in the dirt right now or put it back in the paper towel. So you garden expert on here, all gardeners, please tell me if I need to put the meringue seed in dirt or keep it in the paper towel for longer. So let me know. But what I did, as I tell you guys, I did three meringue seeds. So Two are still in um, in the paper towel, and I take one out, and I stick this one inside the soil. I get a small container, and this morning when I wake up, I'm trying to get a good view. So this morning, what I did, I place one one meringue seed in here. Ooh, I cover it up. Oh no. So let's see. So I did place one meringue seed inside the dirt. So that's the one that I placed inside the dirt. There's no leaves on it yet. No leaf at all. No leaf. So uh, I don't know if I should put the rest inside the dirt or just leave it in that contain in that paper towel. So guys, let me know. Calling all gardeners. Please let me know if I need to put my meringue seed in dirt or just put it back in the paper towel. So let me know guys. And it is July. It's July. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. And it is July 15 today. So I will come back with a next update on my meringue moringa because it is a superfood and i need it in my garden so i was trying to get the seeds and i just want to say shout out to all the beautiful sisters who sent me meringue seed i appreciate it i appreciate everything thank you thank you thank you thanks to stardust too for sending me thanks for sister good eats thank you i appreciate you all thank you and not only that let me show you guys what i am growing right now in july so I'm going to show you some of my seed. This is the white, white sorrel. Looking good. I, I planted six and I end up getting two. <laughs> so I'll take two though. We'll take two. Over here we have some broccoli. We have some broccoli. So here we have broccoli and those are the broccoli seed coming up. Over here we have some habanero pepper, scotch bonnet, some scotchy pepper. Over here we have some more habanero pepper. These are two different kinds. So one scotch bonnet, one is habanero. So these are hot, 
extremely hot peppers so these the true leaves are coming on these so i'm gonna get ready to pot these up i'm thinking about potting these up or put them in the, I, I think i'm not gonna put them in the ground because you guys know it but i have a long growing season so i think i can put them in the ground but i might put them in pot because i have so much pot around my house uh i don't know my husband don't want no more junkiness around the house over here we have collard so we have collard bok choy most of Christopher's vegetable because you guys know I plant high nutrient dense food. Most of my food that I'm planting in my garden is high nutrient dense food. So it's mostly Christopher's vegetable because they have high nutrients dense. So that's what I'm planting. I plant, I heat what I grow in for my garden daily. And that's why I have to make sure I stock up on seeds each time. Over there, a bunch of tomato. I just did a tomato harvest today it was a great harvest I did today if you guys see there's still a lot of tomato tomatoes that needs to needs to be harvest the rain is falling so my rain barrel barrel is full that's good so we've been putting rain water it's been raining for the past four days in Florida I just harvest from my bok chow and in some of that so let's get back to the seedlings so these are my green those are my green callaloo, which is amaranth. You guys know it as amaranth. Great in health benefits, guys. You guys know everything in my garden. I research every one of these foods and I eat with a purpose. I eat to live, not live to eat. So red cabbage. I plant a lot of red cabbage. I do plant more red cabbage than green cabbage, but I do plant a lot of green cabbage as well. So I drop, these are green red cabbage. And they're busting out the soil. Here we have them. some black eyed peas. Hey then, go inside. We have some black eyed peas over here. Just dropped these two a couple days ago. So I tell you guys, I have uh, those are kalaloo, green kalaloo. We have some more red cabbage over there. Over here, those are my tricolor amaranth. And these are just like the green one, but these, I just dropped those. That one I dropped over a month ago. Those are the tricolor amaranth. Very nutritious. Lots and lots of health benefits. And keep you guys healthy and fit. And over there we have some bok choy. You guys know bok choy. Christopher's vegetable as well. Over here we have muscadine grapes. You guys remember these muscadine grapes? I plant them from seed. I, I was a Yuchi pine. And they have so much grape there. So we bring back, a, they gave me a bag of muscadine grapes. So when I came back, I make juice with it. I juice it and I add the muscadine grapes. So what I did, I just eat them and put them in the raised bed. And probably five to six months after, I see a bunch of grapes coming up. And I did scan them. I'm like, what are these in the garden? So when I scanned them and pictured this, it was muscadine grapes. So I have them in little pots. So that's what they look like. Uh, quite a few pots here. And they are looking good. So muscadine grape, when I did my research, it said when you plant muscadine from seeds, it takes five to six years before you get fruit. So I was like five to six years, that's a long time. But then I think I said, you know what? My baby is one, about to be two. So when he's seven, they'll be out here picking a lot of grapes, eating grapes for their candy. <laughs> that's gonna be their candy. So uh, that's it for today. These are just my seedlings that I drop. And I just wanna, I have some Brussels, Brussels sprout behind me. I do drop some more tomatoes. I did drop some more bell pepper, peppers. I'm gonna drop some carrots today. I'm about to drop some carrots later on so that's what we're working with over there we have a bunch of peppers lots and lots of pepper over there that's my green onions in that green tub that's my green onions i eat those on my food every day so when i'm cooking i just come out here uh, that's my okra if you guys can see we have lots of pepper in that little pepper bed we have some so 
over there that's my oregano oregano that's my callaloo right there looking good i do have bunches of tomatoes tomatoes everywhere so we are we're stacking up on food i'm about to go down there and plant some more stuff so i'm dropping seeds i'm planting i'm eating what i grow i'm growing what i eat i'm just trying to stay on top of my game on top of my health i'm i just tired of giving the doctors all my money <laughs> instead of them taking my money it's highway robbery it is so you know just to continue doing what you guys are doing guys and keep taking care of yourself keep planting your food keep eating what you grow and take care of your family that's it i know a lot of Nothing people ask me how i stay focused or how i um, manage to stay it's every day it's a challenge and every day it's hard i'm just like any one of you or nothing special about me it's just i i choose to choose to stay healthy so everything is a choice this life is hard and it's hard enough with all these fake food that they put in front of us put a bunch of addicted addictive stuff in there for us to get addicted to the foods or the stuff they call food that's not food so we just have to stay on top of our game we just have to be 10 step or two step ahead of the industry the industry is money making it's a money making thing and they will get you anywhere they can so just do what you gotta do and be smart be wise have a discernment god bless you peace love and blessings Keep doing you.